Building wealth isn't rocket science. It really isn't. All you have to do is look at successful people around you and take notes. We're going to talk about five things millionaires never do on today's episode. Let's get ready to scale. Hey guys, I'm Jeanette Friedrich, Director of Investor Relations at Blue Lake Capital, where I get to spend my time speaking with a ton of very successful real estate investors, business owners, uh, other types of professionals. But what they all have in common is, of course, real estate investing, because that's what we do at Blue Lake Capital. Nonetheless, I'm able to observe and learn a lot about people from these interactions. And so today I want to share with you five things that I have noticed millionaires never do. So number one, they never live beyond their means. And you might be like, hey, Jeanette, no, 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 no. I have seen plenty of people that were super loaded, live beyond their means. And yeah, that's true. But guess what? They're not millionaires anymore because true millionaires know that they are going to prioritize living within their means, saving, investing, and being smart with their money over ridiculous possessions, you know, things that make them feel fancy or whatever it may be. Typically, they're very humble and they're very disciplined. So the first mistake you don't want to make is living beyond your means. If you find that you are having a hard time developing your savings or getting into investments or being able to save enough to get into investments, then start with a budget and work your way in a very disciplined fashion to living within your means. In time, you'll get to where you wanna go. The second mistake is ignoring the power of compound interest. Put your money to work. If you do not have your money making money, you're making a huge mistake. The vast majority of people that are millionaires have done so through disciplined savings and investing because they make their money work for them and make them even more money. So it's really simple. I'm going to teach you the rule of 72. If you're not familiar with that, it's very simple. If you want to know how long it's going to take to double your money in any given investment, then you take 72 and divide it by whatever the interest rate is that it's paying out at that. Then you will know how long is it going to take for your money to double. And people are patient about it. So even if it's just small increments that you're getting on an investment over time, that adds up. And you want to make sure that you take advantage of that and do it again and again in a lot of different places. And you really will start to grow and accumulate wealth. Number three, millionaires do not rely on one single job, one single source of income for their security. They understand that it's very important to diversify their income streams, whether that's through their job plus another side hustle or through their job plus an investment in a business and then an investment in real estate or whatever else they may be into. The point is they have several different income streams coming in each month. And that really is the essence of financial security. You don't want to rely exclusively on your W-2 and nothing else. It's really dangerous because you have all your eggs in one basket. Millionaires know they have to diversify their income streams. And of course, I'm a little biased. My favorite is, of course, a passive income stream, which you get through real estate investments and other types of investments as opposed to like a side hustle. But either way, you want to just make sure that you're finding ways to build in additional revenue streams into your life, because otherwise you're going to be fully reliant on your job and your job alone. Ready to Scale is brought to you by Blue Lake Capital, where we hunt down the best multifamily investment opportunities that we can find and invite investors to join in with us. We target Class B value-add multifamily properties across the Sun Belt. Our CEO, Ellie Perlman, invests a substantial amount of capital into every deal. This means our interests are aligned with yours. If you're an accredited investor looking to expand your portfolio and diversify sponsors, be sure to visit us at bluelake-capital.com. Blue Lake Capital, be bold, be extraordinary, and keep moving forward. All right. The fourth mistake that millionaires do not make is they don't not invest in themselves. The vast majority of people I know are extremely motivated to continue to learn all the time, whether it's listening to a podcast like this, going to a conference, reading books, joining investment clubs, 
people believe and understand that they have to continue to make themselves grow and develop further so that they can actually learn and make even more money than they currently are or use it even more wisely than they are. It's very important. And it actually leads me to point number five, which is a mistake that millionaires do not make is not seeking professional advice. People that have acquired a lot of money understand that they need the expertise and guidance from a lot of other people to help them make good decisions, whether it's a financial advisor, a CPA, an attorney, working with firms like us. People understand that there is a value to expert advice because you don't want to lose money where you don't have to. You don't want to leave money on the table that you could have otherwise actually made. And you certainly want to make sure that your affairs are in order so that you can protect your family's long-term interest. All right. So in summary, here are the five mistakes millionaires never make. Don't live beyond your means. Make sure you put your money to work and take advantage of compound interest. Diversify your income and don't rely solely on your day job. Make sure that you take time to invest in yourself. And number five, make sure that you're consulting with other professionals. I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know what you think or any other tips and tricks you have in the comments below. And we'll see you on the next episode.